Hey, it's Jeff Gibbons with another machine tutorial. So I really wanted to be able to record guitar and be able to hear the effects of guitar rig at the same time. I also wanted to be able to record my synthesizers and hear effects at the same time as well, especially if you're going to be doing this kind of thing in a live scenario. I'm going to FKJ tonight, I'm pretty stoked about that, and I would like to be able to do what he does on machine. So I'd love to be able to have my projects all set up and have a track that has guitar rig on it and then be able to record guitar and hear guitar rig at the same time. I couldn't figure out how to do that. Every time I try to record with guitar rig on, the guitar rig would be disabled. I wouldn't be able to hear the sound until after I record it. So what I've found is if you set up a group for guitar rig and then a different group to record your guitars onto, you can then record guitars and hear guitar rig at the same time. So let me show you the steps that go into that. First off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a group for guitar rig and just click on a new group. So we go to the new group and on this group, I am going to put guitar rig on the first sound. So I click on the first sound or I go to sound on the hardware and I click the plugin button and again hit the plugin button on the software up here and then I hit the plus button. Make sure I'm on effect, not on instrument. I go to effect and then I want to be on native instruments and then here I can go to guitar rig. So I hit guitar rig and I press load and the same thing, you would do the same thing from the software if you're on machine micro. And now I've got guitar rig loaded on group G sound one. I need to remember that because in a moment we are going to route the sound of the other group to this exact sound slot. So let's just go over to guitar rig for a second. I'm going to choose Atmo guitar here, this little preset. So I'm just going to double click on that one. That preset is loaded. Now I'm going to make another group. So I can hit the plus or I can hit the button on the machine. And on this group, actually let's name the groups too while we're at it. So this is guitar rig and this is guitar. So we'll just rename this guitar. So on this group here, we're going to go to the group output and we're going to click on this little button right here above the plugin button, which is the channel button on the hardware. So if you're in the plugin button on the hardware, just go to the channel button. That'll take you to the same place as the software right here. And what I'm going to do here is make sure the group output, so not the sound, but the group output right here. And the output is set to go to G1S1, which is G1 right here and sound one. So the one that has guitar rig on it. So I click that button right there. I could also do that from the hardware. I could go to the group, make sure I'm on the channel button. I go to the group and then I go to the destination and I choose G1S1 right here from the hardware. And the next thing I'm going to do is make sure this pad right here, sound one, is set up to record audio. So I hit the sampling button or I click the waveform in the software. And then I have to do one step that's a little bit different. What I'm going to do is go over to the input in the software or on the hardware. And I'm going to click on the sound button and make sure I'm on the sound button because I want the input source for this sound to be set to where my guitar is going in, which is into R. That's the input on my audio interface that I'm going into. So if you were using the machine hardware here, you would set the input for your source right there. So that's where I'm now recording audio from the uh, input on my audio interface. So make sure you just choose wherever your electric guitar or your synthesizer or whatever is plugged into uh, your audio interface or into the machine itself. You choose that at the source right here. So now let's grab the guitar and see if this is working. Turn the volume up. I can hear my guitar going through guitar rig. And if I click on the guitar rig group, and I can see guitar rig right there. I can see that my audio is going through it and I can go and tweak my settings. So now I'm just going to play along for a little bit. I'm going to leave the record button on and it won't start recording until I press the start button up top or the start button in the software. So I'm just going to press play and play along for a bit. And as soon as I'm ready, I'm going to press start and it will start recording.
So I actually just recorded audio. I was able to hear guitar at the same time. I can play it back. I can hear it right here. Everything just works the way it should. So you can see down here in the software under the word recording, I'm set up to record in loop mode. I've got my length at four bars and I've got a target is the pattern. So watch what happens when I record another take. I'm just going to press record and it's going to record it and then load it onto the second sound slot, which is great. And it will disable this first pattern, which actually has this first take in it. So let me do another take. And I press start and here we go. And so here's my second take and it's down on this second sound slot. I can see that pattern two has the second take on it. Pattern one has the first take on it. So that's how I can listen to my two different takes if I have it set to pattern mode. So let me do just one more take so you can really see how that, that works. I'll do something slightly different. So start and count in. So that's my third take. And we can again see all three takes right here. I click the wave button. I go back to my normal view and keep in mind that this audio that's being recorded isn't being printed with guitar rig on it. So that means you could take those effects off at any time and change them. So hopefully that helps you out. Try experimenting with that a little bit. This would make it possible for you to do a performance with machine and have a couple groups ready set up. So you play your guitar, it runs through the guitar rig effects that you want and then keeps playing back with those effects. So as you're playing it in real time, you're hearing guitar rig just the way you'd want. So I will include the steps in the description of this video so you can copy and paste that into a notes app and pull that out whenever you need to set this up. So thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.